welcome back to HGTV. I'm your host, Xavier Spinsey. And I'm Cody Wright. And today we'll be sending over right to Kyle Hamilton with the FFA National Week. Take it away, Kyle. Hello, I'm Kyle Hamilton, and I'm from the Hitchcock Tuller FFA chapter. I'm here to inform you that next week is National FFA Week. So we will be holding different events every day. And I will go through them now. First, Monday, we'll have a corn count, and the student who guesses closest to the actual number of corn will win a prize. On Tuesday, we will talk to the 8th graders about the advantages of FFA and try and spark their interest for the upcoming uh, school year next year to join FFA. Wednesday, we will the freshmen will earn their green hand degrees, and that will be green hand initiation. And then Thursday, we'll have the FFA breakfast, which will start at 6.45 a.m. and go to 8.15 a.m. in the shop. All are welcome. There will be pancakes, sausage, eggs, um, and that will be, that'll be how we are celebrating National FFA Week. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ashley Masson. I'm the president of the FFA chapter. Um, next week is FFA week from the 22nd to the 25th and some activities we'll be doing is Monday there's the corn count in the high school. Um, Tuesday we are going to recruit the 8th graders for F to join FFA next year. Wednesday is our green hand day for freshman initiation. And Thursday is our breakfast. Our breakfast is from 6.45 to 8.15 in the morning and it's in the egg shop in Tulare. And what we'll be serving will be pancakes, eggs, sausage links, juice, milk, and coffee. So I hope everybody can come out and enjoy a wonderful breakfast that, during FFA week. Thank you, Kyle. And we'll be moving on to Cody with the sports. All right. For the boys, they played Iroquois Dolan at Hitchcock, which they had won. And then they played Ipswich at Tulare, which they had lost. The girls had played Iroquois Dolan, which they had won, so that's pretty good. And Cullen... For wrestling, he uh, wrestled from a from a guy at T, and he pinned him in a minute and 36 seconds. And then by major decision, in the 12-0 over a wrestler from Millbank. So he's currently sitting at 11 and 10. So good work, Colin, and keep it up. Ah, boy. And for that, we'll be moving on to the calendar. So today, nothing important is happening outside of a girl and boy basketball game at Woolsey Western. Starts at 5 for anybody interested. On the 19th, a Friday, no school whatsoever. Don't bother coming around the block. So Saturday, the 20th, there is wrestling region. So good luck, Colin. Then we move on to the 22nd, there's FFA week and girls basketball regions. Same thing on Tuesday, just girls basketball regions, nothing important there. Then on the 25th, once again, girls basketball region. We don't have anything until the 26th where there's enhancement. And boys basketball against Northwestern. So, that will be everything for the calendar. So if we, uh, we're ready to move on to birthdays? Yeah. Alright, let's move on to birthdays then, our favorite part of the week. I love doing this every time, and we'll be moving on. So. 21st, our very first birthday is uh, Kayla Fetching. Then and then on the 22nd, we have Morgan Bottoms. Then we on the 25th, we have Barrett Hofer. That is everything for the birthdays. And that, well, no, it doesn't conclude our week. For the senior spotlight, we have Sydney Mayer. So let's send it over to Sydney. Take it away. Hi, I'm Cody Wright. I'm here with HGTV. One of our Hitchcock Tuller seniors is Sydney Mayer. How are you doing today, Sydney? Pretty good, thanks. So what's one of your best memories of high school? Um, probably my best memory of high school would be anything that involved FCCLA, like going on um, trips for that. I've made it to nationals three times, went twice, so um, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that with my partner Kennedy. And then I also really enjoyed state volleyball this year, supporting the girls, so that was probably my favorite. That's pretty fun. So where do you plan on going to college? Um, I'm going to Brookings to SDSU. Oh, that's pretty cool. What are you going there for? Um, I'm going to major in business economics and possibly double major in graphic design. I haven't completely decided yet. So That sounds pretty fun. So what do you want to pursue as a career? Um, I'm hoping something in the business-related field. I do own my own photography business right now, so possibly continuing with that as well as the business side of things. So okay. something along those lines. All right, and last question. What advice would you give for younger classes? Um, the advice I would have for younger classmen is just to work hard, spend your time on your schoolwork because in the end it's totally worth it, and enjoy high school while it lasts because I know they always say the cliche saying that it goes faster than you think, but it really truly does, so I will miss it. 
All right. Well, thank you, Sydney, for the interview. Thank and you, Cody. Thank you, Sydney. And now it closes off this week for HGTV News. So take care and have a good weekend. HGTV, signing off. Uh -huh.